Okay, we are finally for Star Trek The Next Generation 4 Movie Collection 4K. Since I don't, I'm not an Amazon member, they sent this to me days after it came out, but I got it at least. The 4K Ultra HD Blu ray and digital. Now, supposedly the Blu rays were redone too, but at this point, who really cares how well the Blu rays are redone? If you're a collector, all you care about is the 4K disc, but whatever. Um, you get all these special features on the back, which I believe... Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, I believe have been there since the beginning. I'm pretty sure, at least. There's nothing really new for that. This case is cheap, but what are you going to get this day and, um... This time, day, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to, um... Look at the main case itself. Okay, you get Disney, um, not Disney, um, what's it called, Movies Anywhere, I think you can use to connect to this. Um, there's the front, as you can see, there's really not much put into this at all. I mean, these are all old pictures from other things, but whatever. I mean, none of them look like this now. Well, you gotta be, go according to when the Next Generation films were made. Open it up. Ah, uh, put no interest into the disc art, just like the original series. And here's the Paramount movies and one, um, two gum, yeah, four codes. I don't understand why they do this. Why can't they just get one master code to unlock all the movies? It'd be so much easier. And I've seen it be done before. The Harry Potter films are all one. I know that's a different studio, but I mean, come on. Having to put four codes in is ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay, that's that. Let's look at all the discs just to make sure. Anyone didn't fool around with them. There's a fingerprint or something on this one. <laughs> That's the first one I'm gonna watch, so I'll know if that works or not. Dolby Vision and Dolby Audio, no Dolby Atmos for these. Don't expect anything more than that. Another mark on the one down here. Oh, a batting two for two for marks so far. Another one right over here. Three for three. Let's see if that wipes off. Yep. It's just manufacturing defects. People do not know how to um, release items. They, they're terrible at it. Okay. Here's another one. Yeah, there's all marks on all of them. I'm not going to wipe everyone off. They usually don't make a difference anyways. They're, only, they're not scratches. Generations. Blu-ray. Yeah, they all have all kind of marks on the bottom. Jeez. All the money you spent for these things, they shouldn't have anything. Far less of films, and this one's perfect. That's first contact. That's the Blu-ray, though. The Insurrection Blu-ray. Maybe a couple of mocks. So they kind of were sloppy with this. With quality control. Even though Blu-rays will play, usually with a few mocks, that's not the point. Okay. See like that? See, look at that. That is just... That is just... It shouldn't look like that when you pay $70 for a set. I wipe that off. It wipes off very easily, so that's not the point, though. It shouldn't be like that. Oh, maybe it was just... No, it could have been the condensation from being outside. E either way, I've never... Actually, no, I've left things out in the cold before. It's never looked like that. But, well, whatever. Um, all right. Well, um, let's complain again about this. This should be one master code that unlocks all the movies. It can be done. All right. Bye-bye.